Well, this is my first time out with the KNF Concept carbon fiber tripod. And I'm loving the fact that it's so light. It really is light. The legs are taking a bit of getting used to in terms of the adjustments. Let me just show you down here if you can make this out. These little clips that you have to adjust the actual angle that the legs come out at is different to what I've been used to. So that's taking a bit of time. And the adjusting knobs, you have three, see if you can see this, this one here holds the base plate or my L bracket in on the camera. So the base plate, because at the moment I've got the 70 to 200. This one allows you to rotate the head so you can use that for panning. And this one here, this big one, if you can see that, that adjusts the angle. So up and down, left to right, side to side sort of thing. And I keep using the wrong one and wondering why my camera's about to fall off the head. I love the fact it's not cold. I mean, it's not a cold day. It was supposed to be. It was supposed to be two degrees and frosty. The sun's come out. It's beautifully warm, but the tripod feels warm. And that's one of the benefits of carbon fiber. It seems sturdy enough. The legs have got the twist grips on. They definitely feel better made than the VO, the Vanguard VO that I had. There's no loose rubber coverings. Let me go down here and see. There we go. That serrated bit is actually an integral part I think of the actual twist grip and it's very smooth action it seems sturdy enough so yeah I'm first time out with it I'm quite impressed obviously as I say I'm not the best person for looking after my kit properly so it will be interesting to see how I go on with it over the year but first impressions yeah I liked it straight out of the box and it's done nothing to disappoint me so far So while I'm here, I thought I'd have a quick catch up on how the KNF Concepts tripod is performing. And to be fair, I'm quite impressed. I had it out at the side of Loch Arklet yesterday or Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, Sunday was yesterday. It was blowing a hoolie. And I think for the first time ever, I actually used the hanging hook. Where are we? Down here. And attached my bag to it. I'd forgotten my caribbeners. So I just attached one of the straps and put it on the floor. And it was sturdy. Uh, it, it was blowing. It was ridiculous. I debated whether or not to actually take the photo because there was going to be that much camera shake going on. It wasn't a particularly long exposure. I was just using the six stop. So it was, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. But it seemed to, it seemed to fare reasonably well. I haven't looked at the image on the big screen yet. Uh, but it, uh, certainly on the back of the camera, it looks sharp enough. So from that point of view, you can't knock it. The legs, the action on them, and now I've got used to it, is brilliant. It's about two turns to unlock, two turns to lock. That's fab. And it's a really smooth action on the legs. The ball head, I need to learn to tighten up a bit more. I think that's more pilot error than the tripod head being a bit of a pain. But that said, if the head fails, I just take it off and buy a new one because it unscrews. So I'm not concerned about that at all. This, if you can see this, this strap, that's going to have to go. I have no idea why that's on there. I can't imagine being in a position where I would, I would ever use it. And the fact that when it's windy or breezy, it's flapping around. Although it's only slight vibrations, it is going to put vibrations up through the tripod into the camera. And then you end up with slightly soft images. So that's going and that's about it really. The centre column screw, that has a tendency to come loose. Now whether I'm just not tightening it properly, which is probably the case, I don't know. Or whether I'm twisting it as I'm carrying it, I'm not sure. I just need to keep an eye on that. Because I do, do have a tendency to pick the camera and the tripod up by the head. And then, luckily it can't come all the way out. I just end up picking the centre column up. And, well, the rest of my tripod gone. But no, so far so good. So it's had two tests. This is the second one. Yeah. Yeah, happy. Definitely. And it was nice carrying it this morning. It wasn't freezing cold like my aluminium ones are. So yeah, the... <sighs> quick release plate. Not the quick release plate. The head. Clamp. 
<laughs> cold's going to my head. The Arca Swiss compatible clamp works fine. That grips and it's so much easier than the one on the Vanguard. The Vanguard had a little button that used to stop you putting the L bracket in smoothly. I never understood why it was there. This is great. It just clamps in immediately. Makes life so much quicker. Oh, 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 oh. First little bit of light appearing over here. You won't make it out here, I know. In fact, it's there. So I'm going to go and take another photo. But yes, anyway. Um, yeah, so far so good. Two, two tests. A couple of little more. Well, one little modification. That bloody strap's got to come off. And other than that, yeah, quite pleased with it. Oh, another quick update regarding the KNF carbon fibre TC2534 tripod. I've used it a few times now and I still haven't got round to cutting the strap off, but I have found I just wrap it round the centre column and that keeps it out of the way, stops it flapping about. So maybe I won't get brutal with it. Now I was out at Blythe the weekend that Storm Eric came in and it was brutal. The whole thing just got shot blasted. Did wonders for my complexion, uh, but not so good for tripods, filters and cameras. So I took, when I took it home, I thought I'd be brave and have a go at dismantling it. Now my previous tripods have all looked far too complicated with far too many bits that might fall out when I took it apart. So I was a bit dubious about this one. But it has the screw legs, so you unscrew or you screw up to lock them. And this is really, really simple. You just continue to unscrew. And it comes out. Now right on the end, you can just see that there's a little plastic sheath, which also comes off. I haven't got brave enough to take that off. But it does allow you to get compressed air down inside the screw threads and on this. These are all greased and I've blown a load of sand off of them but the sand is sticking to the remains of the grease so I need to wipe those off and get some, let's just tighten that one up, um, silicon spray just to keep it lubricated and then you just stick it back in and hey presto it's done. Now that is my kind of take something apart and put it back together again where there aren't too many pieces to worry about you can see on the end there, a little sheath, which I guess could fail at some point. I'm not entirely sure what it actually does. And you just slide that back in, slide the screws back on, and that's it. Now that is just mega easy. I still haven't got round to taking the centre column out. One of these days I'll read the instructions and have a go. In terms of overall usage, it's been solid, absolutely solid. The O, apart from the strap, which is to say I've kind of sorted by putting it around the neck, when you loosen the side wheel to allow yourself to do panos, that is actually very stiff. And if you're not careful, you can actually unscrew the head, which is probably not a good idea. But other than that, I haven't really found any drawbacks with it. Yeah, still very impressed with this. And definitely easy enough for even me to take apart and keep clean. So as it's so simple, I might actually do it this time. I will update again in the future. But for now, we're in the Lake District and we're going to carry on and take some photos.